Today, we're going to talk about the top 10 best pieces of equipment for free to play players. With the latest update bringing 12 new iconic crystals into the game for some of the higher end players, it's pretty clear that as time goes on, legendary equipment is going to be required. However, today I wanted to talk about 10 pieces of equipment that I think are going to last you the longest that aren't legendary. So these pieces will give you the most amount of value for the least amount of materials and relatively easy to obtain blueprints and i'm just gonna say this right now i actually think some people are gonna get mad at this video there are gonna be some whales that are emotionally attached to their legendary equipment and this video is going to upset them so if you find this video useful drop a thumbs up on it so you can help me combat the haters without further ado let's move on to the list guys coming in at number 10 is Isset's sufferance i don't know if i pronounced that properly sorry these are the cavalry gloves now for some reason Lilith gave us six percent of stats on these gloves whereas if you take a look at any of the other purple gloves you're only going to get five and a half percent four and a half percent plus set bonus I don't know why they love cavalry so much here in the glove department but you do get six percent of stats and when it's talented it does bump that up to eight percent of stats which is again higher than the seven and a half percent that you would get from something like the Seth's brutality so point for point you were getting the most amount of stats out of these purple gloves compared to any other what's even better about that is when it's talented you do get four percent of health which is a very nice stat and we're going to talk a lot about health here in this video now the reason these are only number 10 on the list is because once you are able to get Navarre's control I do believe that in general this is going to just be a better piece even without the special talent here on the gloves because you're straight up getting eight percent of cavalry health and you will have the opportunity to talent when you do craft it and you will have the opportunity to add an iconic crystal here which gives you a little bit extra attack as well as you're going to see later in the video some of these non-legendary pieces are only going to be outclassed by their legendary counterparts with special talents but i don't think that's the case for isset's sufferance a simple navar's control outclasses it so it is exceptionally good very great value and you will use it for a very long time but it only lands itself at number 10 on the list moving on to number nine on the list we have Delane's amulet now this is one of the more expensive pieces of epic equipment in the game this is almost like half of a legendary piece it's like 17 if you do the math it's like 17 and a half legendary materials here so Delane's amulet almost a legendary but the reason that it's on this list as one of the most valuable pieces that you can use as a free-to-play player is because of how easy this is to get it's not to say that there aren't legendary accessories that uh, don't outclass Delane's amulet in fact I think there are many legendary accessories that outclass Delane's amulet but legendary accessories are extremely expensive and it might take a long time to get those blueprints on those pieces so Delane's amulet is probably something you're going to use for a very long time and any army that you slap it onto is going Gonna get just a little teeny bit more tanky which is nice moving on to number eight we sort of have to talk about eight and seven in a combination and that's because we're talking about the revival greaves and the revival helmets both of these pieces giving you archer stats specifically archer defense and with the talent they're both going to give you 10 percent of archer defense which is nice and when you have both of them together you do get the two set bonus of an extra three percent troop attack so total you're getting 23% of stats for two epic pieces, which is really nice. The reason that these two pieces are so good together is because again, they are an epic set. You really lose a lot of value when you lose that set bonus. So you sort of have to replace both of these pieces at the same time, if you're going to replace one or the other. And when you take a look at their legendary counterparts, you're looking at pieces that give you archer attack, which in general is a less valuable stat because when you're in season of conquest, you're going to have access to the attack bonus that you get from KVK tech so gaining extra attack is not going to be as difficult as it will be to gain extra defense on top of that the helm is really only outclassed by the ancestral mask of night which is a kvk shop piece so this is going to be a pretty big barrier of entry for a lot of players and so keeping the revival greaves and the revival helm is going to just be in general a very good strategy these two pieces are going to give you a lot of value for a very long time and the reason that I think the revival helm is slightly better than the greaves and slightly less replaceable is simply because it gives you the same amount of stats 
uh for less materials it's literally 40 materials here versus 60 materials here i don't know why that's the case but yeah if you're gonna craft either you can craft the helm first you're gonna be able to get the helm first so that's good to know moving on to number six is the gladiator these are the cavalry legs these are giving you 10 and a half percent of cavalry health when they are talented the reason that this is such a valuable epic piece of equipment is because the best in slot legs for cavalry are ash of the dawn and you can see here they also give cavalry health and you're only getting 1.5 percent more cavalry health with this legendary piece as you would for the epic piece now of course you will eventually want to get the talent on ash of the dawn and you can add an iconic crystal here which is going to give you more health so in general i'm not arguing that the gladiator gladiator legs are better of course ash of the dawn are better but when we take a look at the materials required to craft the gladiator is so much cheaper and most of the time realistically 89 percent of the time your first craft of ash of the dawn is not going to give you a special talent so for 90 percent of you even after your first ash of the dawn craft the gladiator is still going to be so close in stats that it's almost not even worth going for the ash of the dawn you're better off using these materials on other pieces of equipment that are gonna that are gonna make a much bigger difference to your overall loadout so the gladiator legs are so so good that you're going to be using these for a very long time because replacing them is such a low priority moving on to number five we're starting to get into some really really good pieces of non-legendary equipment so if you're enjoying this video drop a thumbs up on it it genuinely helps out my channel a ton so thank you guys number five on the list is the silent trial this this is in my opinion a better epic accessory than Delane's amulet and when you have the talent on here your normal attacks are going to decrease the targets rage by 13 points now reducing enemy rage is not that common there are a couple of commanders that do have skills that will reduce the enemy rage however silent trial is an accessory that you can slap on anywhere and especially with the talent this is going to be exceptionally good you can see here that I actually have two talented silent trials because I really love this piece of equipment now the reason that it's so high on the list uh, again is not because there aren't legendary accessories that are better than the silent trial of course I do think that there are some but again the silent trial is so cheap compared to the legendary accessories and you have to consider that in some instances it's going to actually be better or preferable to the battle outcome to reduce the enemy rage than it would be to enhance your own rage for example so if we take a look at something like horn of fury which is one of the better pieces of legendary equipment here in the game uh, there are some instances where you legitimately would be better off having a talented silent trial than a non-talented horn of fury why is that because in this game there is a cap to the amount of rage that you can get in in any given turn right so if you're in a big open field fight and there are multiple Joan of arcs around and you have the maxed out skill tree and you're gaining a ton of rage well there are going to be some turns where the horn of fury might go off and you're overraging that turn and not actually gaining any benefit from the horn of fury whereas with the silent trial this will apply to your enemy only after they've hit their rage cap so uh, basically the way that the silent trial is calculated is after your enemy's rage has been reduced to the cap then it will reduce the 13. so there's always going to be a benefit of having the silent trial even if the benefit is very small on a turn by turn basis now hold on because i know what some of you just heard me say is that the silent trial is better than the horn of fury that is not what i'm saying what i'm saying is that there are some instances where the silent trial might perform better and that is not something you can say for any other epic accessory and that's why the talented silent trial lands at number five here on the list i told you this video is going to be a little bit controversial okay but uh team silent trial comment down below moving on to number four we have Kurox humility this is a fan favorite for infantry players giving you ten and a half percent of infantry health when it has the talent as you can see here i am currently using three of these with the talent on my armies and that is for good reason infantry health is such a good stat is making your infantry armies trade better 
better in the open field by taking less sev wounds that is that's literally the outcome of having more health now why is Karak's humility so high up on the list well we have to take a look at what is the alternative right now the eternal knight with the special talent is the best in slot legs for infantry but most of you are not going to have the special talent on the eternal knight and if you take a look here the eternal knight is only giving you 1.5 percent of extra stats but it's actually for defense rather than for health and for infantry and really for all troop types you're going to prefer health over defense there are other ways uh, to get defense in most instances your defense is already going to be higher than your health that's because you gain defense through your regular technology and you gain much more defense than you do health you can also literally just use an item that instantly gives you 10 percent more defense for 24 hours so when we're looking at 10 and a half percent of infantry health versus 12 percent infantry defense the 10 and a half percent of infantry health is almost always going to be more valuable now there's only a couple of instances where a non-talented eternal knight is going to perform better and that is if you're using a zenobia constantine or a herald now zenobia and constantine already have a lot of extra health and so in those instances your health may actually be higher than your defense and in that case obviously you would want more defense points also the thing with Zenobia is that sometimes she is used as a mixed garrison and here you can see you're gaining a solid amount of defense for all troop types whereas with Karak's humility you're only getting a stats for two troop types and one of them is Cav attack which isn't as valuable in a garrison scenario and in the case with Herald you would only ever want eternal light on Herald if he's paired with anybody other than Pakal so Pakal Herald you're still going to prefer using the Karox humility with the talent but if you're using let's say Harold Alex or Harold Martell you probably will prefer using the Eternal Knight and that's strictly because Harold reduces his own defense through his skills and so over the course of the battle you may actually prefer having the extra little defense buff here but overall Karox humility one of the last pieces that you're going to replace in your epic equipment lineup moving on to number three on the list we have the heart of the saint this is another cavalry piece this is the third cavalry piece we're talking about in the video uh and for good reason this is an exceptionally good piece of equipment not only are you gaining 17 percent cavalry defense which is incredible but you're also gaining 10 percent of health over here as well so you can throw this into a mixed garrison and know that you're gaining a ton of extremely valuable stats now the reason that the heart of the saint is so good and so valuable and so high up on this list is because you have to look at what is best in slot now the sacred dominion is technically best in slot but realistically the difference between sacred dominion and heart of the saint that's talented uh is is very minuscule because you're gaining cavalry attack here and we're not even going to entertain rifle of the hellish wasteland because this is it's not even close talented heart of the saint is better than rifle of the hellish wasteland and in order to really see a nice bump in power you would want to have a talent on the sacred dominion even with an iconic crystal you're gaining base attack here for the weapon slot so it's not it's not even like you need that iconic crystal that iconic crystal is probably better off going into something that gives you more health or defense i told you this video is going to be controversial but the heart of the saint is really an exceptionally good piece and it's definitely one of the last pieces pieces that you're going to want to replace because boys look at this look at how expensive this is man it's just insane it's just insane you're going to get almost the same amount of value uh with heart of the saint as you would sacred dominion of course with the talent here so once you craft the talent to heart of the saint you can rest assured that you're going to be using that piece for a very long time now moving on to number two on the list guys I want you to remember that this is a video for free to play players that is giving you the most value okay this is the most value so number two on the list is actually the expedition warhelm and the reason that I'm emphasizing value here is because I don't want you guys to get confused in thinking that I'm saying that this is a better piece than a legendary piece that is not at all what I'm saying what I'm saying is this is a blue piece of equipment that I'm still using on my Nevsky why is that when this piece is talented which is going to be incredibly easy because it's blue it gives you eight percent of cavalry defense okay so you have to take a look at when you're replacing this piece what are you getting in exchange 
for that 8% cavalry defense. Well, if we take a look at the Abyssal Visage or Visage, I don't know how to pronounce that. When this is talented, you're going to get 10 and a half percent of cavalry attack. Well, great news. You're already going to have a ton of cavalry attack thanks to the season of conquest uh, crystal technology. And so 10 and a half percent of cavalry attack is not better than 8% cavalry defense. You will rather have 8% cavalry defense every single time if what you value is better trades and when we get to number one on the list we're going to talk a little bit more about the distinction between the stats because I do think number one on the list is going to upset people but okay so if we're looking at the expedition war helm and we say all right let's just skip the epic piece when we replace this with a legendary piece what are we going to be replacing it with well if you look at the war helm of the hellish wasteland this is the set piece for cavalry you see that it goes up to 11 percent cavalry defense so really you're gaining the same stat uh, you're getting three percent more cavalry defense going from a blue helmet to a legendary helmet right now of course that's assuming this doesn't have the talent and of course we can go over to pride of the con which is technically much better but here we're talking about 90 legendary materials okay 90 golden materials and a kvk shot piece and we're comparing that to the blue helmet now again i'm not saying these are comparable clearly pride of the clan is better it's almost twice as good even without the talent and you could put the icon of crystal here clearly much better and of course war helmet and hellish wasteland literally better literally better but what i'm saying is we're comparing it to a a blue helmet guys a blue helmet you're going to craft this so early on and it's going to be usable for such a long time and the value that you get by replacing it is only three percent of cavalry defense unless you have this kvk piece it's just again we're talking about value here and the, it's just no question the value here is absolutely through the roof moving on to number one on the list this is the most valuable piece of non-legendary gear and this is going to make the whales go crazy that is the gatekeeper shield for some reason people hate when i talk about how good the gatekeeper shield is my assumption is that they've gone out of their way to craft let's say the legendary shield and then they realize that it's foolish of them to have done that because i would literally rather have the gatekeeper shield guys we're talking about infantry health 10 and a half percent of infantry health versus 20 percent infantry attack that is the difference here so clearly this is twice the amount of stats but remember what we said before infantry health is such a valuable stat and you're going to have so much more attack just in general by default think about the commanders that you're mostly going to be using in the open field Guan Yu has built in infantry attack Alexander the Great has built in infantry attack Harold has built in infantry attack Scipio has built in infantry attack. Chuck has built in infantry attack. You are going to have so much infantry attack that you don't know what to do with. So adding 20% more on top of that point for point is not going to move the needle as much as 10 and a half percent infantry health. So I need you guys to understand that when it comes from a trade perspective, you're going to get better trades on average with the talented gatekeeper shield than the non-talented shield of the eternal empire. Will you deal more damage with shield of the eternal empire? Of course you're getting 20% of your infantry attack. Of course, you're going to deal more damage. What I'm saying is your sev wounds compared to your enemy sev wounds. It's going to be a better ratio with the gatekeeper shield and better trades is what wins KBK unless you have infinite money. And that's why the whales hate to see the gatekeeper shield be used by so many people. Now, if you do have a talented shield of the eternal empire, great news that's better than the gatekeeper shield just in general from a trades perspective and damage output talented shield is better also non-talented hammer of the uh sun and moon is also better I mean literally it's almost the exact same thing as the talented shield so if you can craft the hammer of sun and moon it is technically better than the gatekeeper shield okay so I'm not saying the gatekeeper shield is best in slot what I'm saying is it's a blue piece the value here is insane okay it's going to take you such a long time and so many materials to replace it that you're going to be using this piece for a very long time and it is such a low priority to replace because it's just it's just so good man so in conclusion in this video we talked about four cavalry pieces two archer pieces two infantry pieces and two accessories so what that means is from a an equipment perspective uh cavalry are actually some of the best at in terms of value for low investment to build a set out of which means if you're going to be building multiple armies or if you're a free-to-play player it seems like cavalry is a good way to go as far as cheap investment 
for your equipment now i still think that infantry is probably better to go with if you're a free-to-play player from a commander perspective you have guan yu alexander but that's a topic for a different video also runner-ups for this list were the seth brutality which is the infantry gloves and the frost treads which are the infantry boots so infantry almost is as cheap as cavalry they just didn't quite make the cut guys if you enjoyed this video drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm if you want to see more rise of kingdoms content go ahead and subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace